Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Going Medieval. I am Nermat of the Man. Well, we're gonna take a look at the upcoming colony building sim and also a survival game set in the turbulent time of medieval ages. Basically, what you do in this game is that you construct yourself a colony. You build yourself a real powerful fortress or maybe a village or maybe something else. It all depends to you. And then you try to survive. You try to thrive and, well, you try to expand. Eventually setting your own goals. Now, there are like a bunch of similar games like this thing, but I do believe that one, this one has its own little charm. And I am basically prepared to face the challenges and try to build something awesome eventually i don't know we'll see but just so you know the key has been supplied for me for free by the publishers which i'm very very grateful for and well let us get into building shall oh okay your settlement will experience enemy rights as well as environmental events rights occur at city okay the difficulty adapts are your progress peaceful there are no enemy rights nice Choose this game mode if you prefer to focus on constructing your settlement and taking care of your settlers. Survival. Enemy rights happen frequently in this mode and the difficulty increases over time. Great! And you have difficulty over here. Okay, I want to go with the standard one. This for now. A new life. Lone wolf. This settler starts alone with major sources in the current chest of conditions. Starting season. Winter. Add new. I can add myself new gameplay. A new life. Actually, a new start. Uh, each setter has a story about the past they left far behind, but now this targeted group has a common goal to build a new home together. Recommended scenario for first time players. Okay, so we're gonna start in spring, we're gonna get some resources, some basic equipment, and around three settlers at the age of between 23 and 55. Mm, that's, that's remarkable for medieval ages. And some basic clothing. Sure! Oh, okay, I even get to pick where the heck I'm supposed to be. I can play in the mountains, I can play in the hillsides, or I can play in the valley. Peaceful vacation, fetter soil and clay. Moderate amount of limestone, lesser amounts of gold, silver, iron and salt. Hillside. On even terrain suitable for a good defensive position. A fair amount of limestone and clay. A moderate amount of fetter soil and vegetation. Okay, and the mountains. Plentiful limestone, gold, iron, and silver. Less amounts of fertile soil, clay, and vegetation. Okay, let's go for now with this thing. Default size, nothing I can do over here. I can randomize myself the... Uh, my sigil. I... Oh, sure, let's go with this one. This one actually looks really fucking cool. Set my name. Okay, let's leave it as it is. Okay, and now we get to pick our setter. So this works, works quite similar to all those other... Uh, colony survival games, right? So we got animal handling, botany, carpentry, construction, culinary, intellectual, marksmanship, medicine, mill, mining, smithing, speechcraft, and tailoring. Perks. Boyd is extremely candid and doesn't suffer suffer fools gladly. Those who can handle the unwashed truth tend to steer clear. Global work speed plus ten percent. Okay. Religious alignment. <laughs> Oh, great! We have to worry about religion as well. So, can I change the... Can I change something over here? I don't think so. Randomize. Oh, there you go. Okay, so... Who... Like, if I'll be playing all those, you know, survival games, all those colony games, I learn a few things. First of all, we need to have a good farmer, right? So let's focus on maybe on that. Okay, this person's good with uh, botany. She's also good with carpentry. Uh, and with mining. Okay, I would say that decent. Let's leave her for now. Mela mining and smithing. Okay, this guy is... Woman, whatever. It's actually really good. Hit points recovery. Okay, so this perk is actually gonna be really bad for melee combat, even though that you are proficient in, in actual fighting. That's not good. Uh, but you are actually good at smithy and, like, at mining. So you could become like the village miner and uh, blacksmith, but also apparently you're really good with carpentry. Okay, so now we're gonna need somebody who's actually good with farming, okay? Let's see. I am looking for... Oh, this one's very nice. What do you have? Motor function. It's manless butcher and devourer of men. He's forfeit. Fortified. Fortified. 
by oh he's a cannibal <laughs> god damn it we can have cannibals in this game no oh they want to make a self entire colony made of cannibals yeah sure why not i mean if i have to fuck it over let's let's get ourselves an entire colony of cannibals let's see how far we can actually survive how hard can you oh okay there you go Right, so I bet you get almost the similar things. You're what? Smooth, okay. <laughs> Botany. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna end up as a disaster, you know that? Oh my god. Why why do I think this is a good idea, huh? What the heck is this thing? Snow White. Oh she she loves cold. Well that's a cold bitch apparently. Where is the cannibalism? Where is it? I want to have three cannibals in my in my in my village. Come on. Give me the cannibal perk. That's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one. Where's the cannibal perk? I need the cannibal perk. Come on. Come on, game. Don't be like that. You gave me already two. There you go. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Yo. yo. She's actually really fucking cool. So I've reloaded some of them. And we actually got three cannibals in our city. <laughs> to make things even worse, one of them is Glutonius. <laughs> So she's gonna eat more. Oh, this is gonna end up so badly. Okay, right. Okay, so those are the settings. Show tutorial tips. Yeah, please. Okay, right. You guys are ready? I hope you're fucking ready. Uh, uh, the plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving the trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went on an early grave, and those left standing were plunged into poverty, poverty scared by, hor uh, by the horrors that they had witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. As the earth quickened in spring of the year 1353, Agilia, Adela and Beowulf set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of the land as their own, as was their right in the eyes of the god and under the law. Here they may lay down the foundations for some kind of a future, perhaps hope will follow. Good land is there for the taking. In all four corners of the once mighty land, citizens are rebuilding in the hopes that the horrors of the past few years can be left behind. It's possible that there are be fighting droughts, uh, fighting droughts, sickness, hunger. But what of it? Life goes on, says Satella, and so must we. In the landscape of rolling hills and ancient crumbling forts, the companions track it. Each ascent rewarded Beowulf with a view that scattered for many, ma many languages. No enemy approach would go unseen. He thought they would build a camp that would in time become the settlement of Findirona. Okay, can okay, I pause the game? Welcome. Please bear in mind that the game is under heavy development. This means that the game will be some have some books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Camera controls. Word layouts. Game speed controls. You can speed up the game. Pressing. Okay, that's what I need to know. Space bar. Okay, the game is paused. Oh my god, the map is quite huge. There are not that many hills around here. I was expecting a little bit more. To be completely honest with you. Uh, okay, there's some ramps over here. Right. Hmm. Okay, I see some gold deposits. Oh, that's clay. Okay. Right, I wonder can I dig a moat or something? Hmm, we have some stone over here. I'm actually thinking where I could try to build, begin the construction of, like, a, of a keep or something, you know? Because I think I want to actually build a keep. I don't want to build, like, a village. I want to build a, myself a keep, like a proper keep. And probably the enemies can come from all of the directions, which is gonna be really fucking annoying. Okay, so what we have? Base, production, furniture, leisure, ooh, okay. Miscellaneous, on market grave, pyre, fence, banner, signal medium, warfare, second shops. Okay, so what? I'm, I'm getting some stronghold vibe over here. Wooden wall, wooden floor, wooden door, wooden window, stair, and something like that. Okay, research. Let me guess, I have to research the way to actually construct myself a proper wall. Okay, some sticks piles. So you have chopping, cut plants, the construction, harvest, mine, hunt, a bunch of other crap. Wooden torch, clay blazer. A clay return filled with glowing wood for or charcoal for warmth. Wooden table. Okay, I can I can roll with this thing, I believe. Wooden oak breath and shrine. Here, followers aligned with the Oak Brethren gathered to pray. So we have a religion in this game as well? Shit, man. Manage. 
Use the manage panel to determine which items you set as auto equipped. No weapons. Okay. Draft flea, shields, hang gear, manage armor, manage food. Okay. Schedule. Okay, so you have to work anything. Leisure. Right, I want you to work here and I want you to work sleep, leisure. Hmm, okay, I want you to leisure here, I want you to leisure somewhere over here. Like two hours, I believe, is gonna be fine. And then the rest of it you're gonna work. I don't have any anybody that actually uh, likes to work at night, so we're gonna keep something like this. Okay, jobs. Okay, so we're getting the typical colony survival building game thingy over here. Uh, copy. Okay, that, that's a copy tool over here. That's so nice. Priority 1 is done first. Priority 5 is done last. Okay. So... None first. Oh, it's gonna take a while. I've set up some basic slumbers over here. We're gonna see how that thing is gonna go. Right, so we got, a, we got some resources over here. Uh, a bit of a forest here. Right, so if I'm gonna build later on in the future a keep. Let's say I'll build a keep. Hmm. Okay, there's some dirt over here, I believe, right? Uh, soil 100, grass 100, travel speed 50%, stability 4. Okay, so this is good quality land, apparently. Soil is 100, all over the place, which is great, I guess. And I don't think that can actually increase right now. Like, you cannot go above 100 at this stage of the game. Okay. Right, but still, uh, I'm gonna use this dirt pipe over here as an indication. So this is gonna be where the, like, potential keep could be standing, right? I could make walls around here, like this. Or maybe even... Mm, how I could actually do this thing? Like, I could try to make higher keep, uh, uh, the high castle over here and the lower castle over here, and then surround it with walls and stuff like that. I think. So we will have to make like some type of a fuse over here and I could maybe make like some house over here that later on will be bucket against the wall. The heck is this thing? What's the shrub? Okay. You actually can give me some food. That, that would be nice. So I have to keep that thing in mind in the future notice. Okay. So. I want to start building a house, huh? How about that? So. Hmm. Can I chop down those trees immediately? Right, I'm gonna try to build a house, I guess, here. And later on, we're gonna make a wall over there. So... How big the house seems to be? I have no damn idea. The heck is this thing? Oh! A variant of the floor! How nice! Required skills, zero. Wooden doors. Touch that roof. Wooden wall. Hmm, okay. So... Let's assume for a second that... Those guys will need some rooms, right? So let's let's give them maybe five by five. Yeah, that, that sounds like a decent idea, right? Eventually. So five by five. It's gonna be one room. How big is the wall? Okay, so the wall is actually one tile. Okay, so another room over here. And another room over here. Okay, something like this. Right, there are some mushrooms over here that you have to collect, so that's nice. And with that thing done, I want you to make actually some walls. Is this actually a wall of a house or a wall as a wall to defend myself? I don't know. We're gonna find out probably very soon, boys. So you could do something like this. Okay, and the walls between. No, not like that. Cancel. Thank you. And I want to build myself... Actually, I think I built it everything. Now, how do you make the doors? Ah, like this. Okay, you just press those things. And windows. Yeah, you know, just for the loose and giggles, let's give them some windows. Very nice. And touch a roof eventually. Hey. I'll see about that thing. Yay! We got ourselves our very first bar access. Awesome. Get to work, you maggots. Yay! I've ordered them to equip some basic equipment, like, you know, balls, so swords, and, uh, and, and a shield. Right, can I zoom in? Hey, I can see inside. How are you doing, boys? Keep chopping down. Come on, keep chopping down. Wow. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> this guy is getting into construction really fucking fast. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Who is supposed to focus on actual building, huh? Construction, okay. 
Uh, right, so you're gonna focus on construction. You guys, not so much. If that'll be a possibility, please. Actually, don't focus on construction at all. I want to have one builder that actually will be able one day to build me a proper castle. How about that, huh? I think later on I want to chop down those trees in the front of it as well, so I can actually see something. Yeah, I'm getting achievements right away. Awesome. Uh, right, once you're gonna build all of that thing, I'll have to give you some, probably some better, whatever. Uh, what time of day is it? Winter. Oh, okay, spring. Rain and fog are frequent, small chances of hailstorm. High temperature, chances of heat waves, built underground storage to keep your food and fresh during the hot summer days. Oh shit. Right, we have to build underground apparently. I'll keep that thing in mind. How the hell am I supposed to build an underground storage? I don't know. I will find out, I think. And I can actually lower the layers. Yay, so I can actually see something. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, uh, I need to give you some sleeping beds, so how about that? One over here, one over here, one over here. Okay, keep on building, boys. Keep on building. Now, orders. Let's see. Cut plants. Thank you. That's gonna come in handy. Which time is it? It's 11 in the morning, boys. Come on, speed up. Yeah, it's gonna take him some time to actually build all of this thing. <laughs> Let's leave it to his own devices, shall we? Food success on stockpile low. Uh, okay, I guess. Hit points. Forbidden cabbage. Oh, okay. Right, we need to make you... I need to make you some type of a staircase. And store the food somehow on the ground. You know what, I think I'm gonna use one of the rooms actually to go on the ground, so... Hold on a second, how we can actually do this thing? Uh... Base? Then staircases? Okay, I want to go... Down. How do I go down? Uh... Clay stairs? No, 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 I want to go down. How do I go down? Rotate, dismiss, place a building. Okay, maybe I have to... Lower? Okay, something like this, I believe. So, this is the... How do I... Like this? Can you place staircase? Bot by path, wooden floor. Hmm, okay. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, Cancel. Like this. Now, how do I make underground thingies? Did it work? I don't think so. Okay, maybe I maybe I have to order them somehow to dig. Mine. I hope that works. I've ordered him to speed up the constructions of the beds, so he dropped some resources on them. Yeah, he's building a proper base over here. That's nice. Yeah, one man army building his shit. Not resources available to cons Okay. Still not available resources. Can you harvest this thing a little bit faster? Thank you. Okay, beds are about to get built. I'm digging my way to the basement shortly. Nice. Can you prioritize this thing now? Thank you. Look at him, a brave builder. He goes around and he builds shit. Okay, later on I want to get some farming done over here. Where are the farms? Basic research table. Why do I can I move the items later on? Reconstruct, copy. I want to move you. I'm guessing movement is not exactly a thing. Okay, I'll keep that thing in mind for the future notice. And now I can build myself a proper staircase. So let's build it like this. Okay. So the staircase will be under construction. Okay, I see more or less what this thing is, will be. And I want to now make a underground... No, wait, maybe not like that. Hold on a second. How does it work? Do I have to dive deeper? I think I have to dive deeper, actually. Ooh. Okay. So that, that means I have to dig out this thing as well? Okay, cancel this. And probably we have to dig this thing here. I don't know. We're gonna find out very soon, I guess. Centers are idle. What do you mean are you are idle? You're not supposed to be idle. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna do some... Mm, harvesting. There you go. Have fun. And the staircases are getting built. Yeah, hey! Come on, build it a bit faster. How long can it be? Oh, they are growing. <laughs> they are steady growing. <laughs> The staircase is growing, ladies and gentlemen. The staircase is growing. Wonderful. Well, I have to admit, they are making the work, like, quick. Holy shit. We are slowly getting to nighttime. 
And the fuck was that? <laughs> Something happened over here. Uh, they're getting to night time, and they already managed to build like one room, finish almost the second one, and they are in the process of digging out the basement. This is progressing a lot faster than than in other any other colonial game that I have been playing. This is nice, very nice. And because I figured out how the mining tool works, like. I could potentially dig out this section, and we could try to make ourselves some proper fortifications around here, huh? Huh? I always wanted to build myself a new castle, you know, here and there. <laughs> I actually wonder, will they, get, will they go to sleep automatically? Which time is it? 23. Okay, guys, you should be going to bed. Okay, one of them went to bed. Yeah, they're all sleeping, like, he is tired. Okay, slightly hungry. Okay, and he's at the moment sleeping, okay. And now rest of them, and the game speed it up automatically. What the fuck is that sound in the background? Is something collapsing? What the fuck is this? What the hell is this thing? Phone piles. What's that noise? There's some shit collapsing somewhere and I don't even know why. It only took me two days to dig out the basement, but well, it's now ready. So let's, I can, I'm trying to actually go to the basement. Hello, game. I am lowering a thing, the thingy. Uh, it's not working. Wait, hold on a second. What the heck is this thing? And... Okay, there you go. Right. So we got ourselves a little basement here. Let's see. Wicked floor. Can be used as a platform. I can make the floor out of sticks if I really want to. But let's make it out of wood, like normal human being. Shall we? Okay, so that's gonna be the flooring over here, and I really want to get myself some... Some door? Yeah, like normal door would be nice to have? Wait, I need to have... Okay, wood. Right, make the door over there. Now, we don't have any stockpiles yet, I mean like containers. But I have a stockpile, so on the stockpile, clear all. And food. Basically allow food. All types of food can be put over here. Mm, is there some type of a priority over here? Probably no. Okay, whatever. Right, so from now on, you bring all the food over here, and you better because food apparently is getting old if you want to keep it in the basement. Aha! Can I get some information about this thing? Wait, this, uh, stats. Freshness. Okay, the freshness is going low. But I think it's going a lot slower than on the surface. Do you have anything else to compare this thing to? Uh, linen clothing, mechanical comp components. I don't see any other types of food around here, which is kind of disappointing. Right, so with the basic shelter done, campfire would be nice to have. I'm gonna build it like, I don't know, in front of it, I guess. Somewhere over here. Yeah, let's, let's build this thing over here. And basic research table would be nice to have, and I'm gonna build it in one of the rooms. Nice. Okay, is there anything else I need to worry about? Uh, yeah, probably one of the shrines. Backgammon table. Two sets of can enjoy a game of backgammon for entertainment. Hmm. It comes with seats! How nice. Um, yeah, sure, let's build one over here, I guess. And then one shrine. Actually, you know what? Cancel this. And I'm gonna make the shrine... Wait, which one of my guys... What do you worship, actually? Sleep, work, schedule... What is the information of what exactly you are fucking worshipping, huh? Skills, general attributes, clumsy. Because just in case if they want like, you know, enjoy worshipping a different god. God knows how that thing is gonna go. Oh, and maybe that feature is not implemented into the game. Which I'll be completely fine to be honest with you. Inventory, biography. Uh, mining. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Oak brethren, zealot. Better and better, zealot. What? The center needs just an occasional quick parade to satisfy their religious needs. They require a church of restoration shrine or chapel for the religious. Okay, church, church of restoration. Right, what about the rest of you? So, you, for example, what you need? Church of restoration. And. Church of restoration. Okay, so apparently, church of restoration will be completely fine. Wait, what? Church of Resituation. Okay, so it's this thing. 
Right, make a small shrine in one of the rooms and then the gambling apparently which is in the same tab as uh, religion because why not uh, we're gonna slap you over here there you go that works for me okay another like need have been fulfilled now how about we're gonna worry about making some food pyre or make a grave fences zoning how do i farm in this game or do i have to rely on you know on berries for the time being that's Probably the case. Okay, well. Harvest. Berries! For now, our diet will contain of berries and mushrooms, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you will enjoy. Because we didn't brought a cook with us. Leisure activities. Be sure to give your setters leisure time activities. There are several activities available. Religious, drinking, games, and inspect stats. Okay. Depending on the religious alignment, the setters will want to pray on a shrine. Okay, research table missing, mail preparation, construct a workstation that turns raw food into meals like a campfire or a stove. Yeah, we got that thing over here, so as soon as my guy will finish uh, smacking the walls with his hammer that I have no idea how we might acquire, uh, we can actually try to make some, some useful food around here. Okay, right, the sources are getting stockpiled. We've removed the sticks from the inside of the houses, so the villagers will move a little bit faster around here. Tutorial mood. What? Mood represents your setter's happiness. Oh no, here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh shit. Okay. Wooden table small. Yeah, that's that should be nice. Let's give you a small table over here and some seats around. So you can sit and enjoy the view. Clay blazer. Hmm. Okay. Right, we got a cooking thingy. Production. I, I think I can manage, you know. Meal. Cooking material. Fuel. Amount. Forever until you have... Let's keep around 20 of those. Just in case. There I go. Okay, waiting for resources. Build me that table so you guys won't have to eat on the floor. Right, that's progressing. Ah, we got some more mushrooms over here. So I'll, of course, collect those. Mmm, delicious mushrooms. The best of the best. And I think I see some more berries inside? I just see some flowers. Oh, a deer. Okay. I wonder can I order one of my guys to go out and hunt? Oh, there's lots of berries over here. Is there like a ramp or something I can access this thing? What the heck is this? Oh, it's coal. Okay, that's nice to have. Put berries over here and I'm looking for like a ramp or something. Hmm. Okay, there's ramps over here. But is there like a ramp that will go on the opposite one over here? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no ramp to get to that p uh, pile of bushes over there. Which is pretty annoying. Okay, there's a deer over here. A bunch of skeletons. Yeah, okay, this land is cursed already. Sure, why not? Okay, somebody's cooking the food. Awesome. Yay, table constructed and shit. Very... Very nice. Okay, what does the banner give me, huh? Nothing. Awesome. And of course, what? The moment when I built the gambling table, they decided to go gambling. Wow, what a surprise. Okay. Research table. Charcoal. No, chronicle. Okay. I have no idea how to do this thing. Research. There we go. Research. Unlocks new buildings, options, and whatever. Right. Architecture. What this thing can give me? Wooden beam. Okay, it requires 15 books. Agriculture. Ah, farming. Okay, tailoring. Preserving food. Smokehouse. Smoke meat. Brewing. Furniture. Clay. Brick making. Stone cutting. Smelting. Wooden weaponry. Okay, that could come in handy very soon. Uh, weaponry number two. Okay, what else we have? Armors, nice. Cooking, decorative banners, decorative structures, defensive structures, a metal trap, flinching, a bow, blacksmithing, uh, armorers, shields, preserving food. Oh, packet meal, that's nice. Fermenting, furniture too, steel, access, maces, research too, advanced working uh, tables, swords, crossbows, distilling, shields. And armor free. Okay. 
Right, so I think we have to, we, are, we want to get to our, uh, agriculture as fast as, as is humanly possible. Ah, we got some books already over here, okay. So, research, agriculture, unlock. What, that's it? I, I have no idea how this thing works. I had some books already. Uh, okay, you doing something? Hello? What you doing? You crafting something over there? Okay, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to do. Linen cloth pile. Hmm, I have to probably move those things inside. Sure. Uh, I temporarily put those things here, I guess. Okay, clear all. Now, what the heck is this thing? Category clothing, fabric, construction material, textiles. Textiles. Linen cloth? Linen cloth pile. Okay, and right books, chronicles. Okay, right. So that should put all of the available resources, all the important resources, inside. Oh look, they're actually using the table for once. How nice! I'm starting to feel think that making the campfire outside was a terrible idea. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna build basically one inside. Actually, not like that. Let's see. Copy. Build one inside. Outside in the rain, production speed. Yeah, that reduces the production speed if you're gonna make it outside. What a surprise! Research available. Okay. Agriculture. Furniture. I want to do agriculture, maybe. Herbs, star grass. Bit feed. Okay, unlock this thing. Right, so now we got more zones over here. Oh, yes. Now we are talking. Flax field. Carrots field. Yeah. Some proper food. So this is progressing as intended, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this thing. We got a small, uh, like two fields over here. We got tutorial equipment. What? To prepare your setters, equip new armor, clothing. Ex uh, examine which of your setters is proficient with melee or ranged weapons and equip them accordingly. Defensive. Use structures like marlons to your advantage to cover your archers from enemy pro projectiles. Place archers? Wait, hold on a second. Are we under attack? Are, are we? No, this is a serious question from my side right now. Are we under attack? Game? Hello? I don't see any invaders. Yet. What in the seven hells is going on over here? I am not prepared for an attack. Mostly because I am in the, in the open and right now I don't have like ways of building myself a proper defenses. Just saying. But I bet you have to build up my defenses. Okay. Stick trap. Hmm. Sharpen sticks. Wooden stockades often uh, have offered fire protection from ingrates down the ages. Okay. A penny, I'm about to get under attacked. Soon. That's not great. That's really not great. The heck is this thing? Nolan didn't stop looking over his shoulder, but it was the bleeding wheels around Noham's ankles that gave him away as a prisoner on the run. Would you con cancel him? They may have been followed. The setter slams the door shut, leaving Noham outside. Some setters might get an adequate modifier after that. Vilondia's inhabitants decide to help him. Oh, you actually can get information of how good the guy is. Okay, so he's good with animal handling and he's good with cooking. That would come in handy. Expect a possible attack in a couple of days. Two forest bandits. Tch! Hello, my dear sir. Enemies are incoming in 20 hours. Okay, I am. <laughs> I am preparing some. <laughs> some interesting uh, surprises for them. So I really hope they like certain traps in the forest as they will be approaching me. I do hope they will enjoy my hospitality, you know. Right, some more traps over here, just in case. Have fun, bandits! <laughs> Wallet, okay. They want the guy that just came here. Right. Yeah, well, uh, screw you. Some setters might not like it. No, no, no. We are defending the guy. Oh, they attack at me from a different side. Okay, well. Oh. Okay. Control settlers. Later on in the future, I have to make like so, some proper, proper defenses, you know, here and there. Okay, so. How many people are actually stupid enough to attack me at the moment? Around three of them. Okay. 
You actually got some scary weaponry, which is kind of fucking annoying, but okay, whatever. From You're coming from this side, and my settlement is over here. Okay. Right. So, let us see. Do you have, like, possibility to equip this bow? No, you don't. Okay, anyone else have the possibility to equip this bow? No. 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 Okay. I am fucked. <laughs> okay, they're already coming? Yeah, they're coming my way. I why I haven't prepared shops from this side. Why I've been so dumb. Okay, boys. I think this is the moment where you need to get ready for the incoming attack. So better equipped. Get over here. And well, prepare for the wars, I guess. Let's guide them to our traps first. Right, you go here. Right, go down the corner, boys. They have to go through my some, some of my traps at least. Where are they? Uh, you guys are planning to attack or did you forget how to wait? Oh, now they're coming. Okay, let's see. You actually have to probably use a ram, don't you? Yeah, you're using a ram. It's a bit. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Okay, speed up the game a little bit. Fast speed disabled doing right. Oh, come on! Really? Ugh, fine. Here comes one of the idiots. Right. Wait for the wait for him to get into range of the bow. Fire! You've missed. How could you fucking miss? Aha! Traps to get. Missed. Okay, good. Good, good, good. You get okay, one guy down. I repeat, one guy down. Uh Okay, I am trying to guide you so that he's gonna come to the traps. Go! Headshot! Okay, missed. I think you've hit him in the in the ankle because he's walking really slowly. And here comes the other idiot. Good, good, good. Go over the traps. Victory! Alright. Two sworn enemies died during the fight. Angelina Soros was the bravest of the settlers, drink the most blows of the foe. <laughs> the most, the most damage? Okay, right, here comes the final loser. Get over here. Kill him! One trap. Oh, headshot! Second trap. Guys, kill him. Okay, run. You're, you're an archer, you're not supposed to fight like that. Shoot him! Headshot! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Alright. Now we got a bit of a problem with corpses, you know, so I am gonna... I'm gonna put the dead corpses over here. Let's see. Clear all. Waste. Uh, there is no way to put... Corpses? Cascades? Ah, there you go. Humans. Okay. Uh, can you guys drag those things around? That would be wonderful. And they left me a bunch of items! How nice of them! So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a fine beginning of a great castle that one day we will we'll build somehow, somewhere, I don't know. We we'll still have to figure out how the heck I'm supposed to get some stone, but I'm guessing we have to basically dig out this thing over here. And that should give me some 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 amount of stockpile of, of stone that later on we could try to turn into a powerful fortress. And well, after that, I don't know, we'll see. There's a bunch of other things we could try to do. But well, that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna cover up in the future episodes. Please remember that this game is still in early access, so that, that means that some of the features may eventually change, and the developers are constantly working on improving the title itself. So, uh, I don't think the game is available at the moment on Steam. You can add it for now to your wishlist, at least on the day when I'm recording this. But, feel free to get it as soon as possible, because I do honestly think that if you enjoyed all of those colonial games, colonial management games, you will have great fun in building yourselves a proper, proper fortress in going medieval. But that's gonna be the thing for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.